Oh my god, is that another red sword? Oh my god, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky. In this video, I'm going to react to the fakest Minecraft speedruns in the world. And it gets even worse as the video goes on. Oh, and subscribe if you want more videos like this in the future. This speedrunner starts off by not even showing the loading screen, which by itself makes it a dead run. But let's just see what happens next. He starts off by mining some trees to get some logs, and then he makes a crafting table and makes some tools. Also, if you can see, there is a village next to where he spawned, which is something that happens a lot in these speedruns, but he doesn't look too phased by it. So far, it doesn't look very fake at all. It's just unvalid. He loots some of the village houses to get some beds, and then also goes to get some cobblestone. Usually, people would only get a few blocks of cobblestone just to make a pickaxe and axe, but he takes it to the next level. He starts getting way too many blocks and even starts digging straight down. The forbidden rule of Minecraft. Try and guess what happens next. A, he falls straight into lava. B, he falls into the void or see he finds some diamonds well if you said a you're right but that's not all yeah so he respawns in a nether but you can tell it's very fake because there was no respawn screen from dying and this was the first indication that the run was faked but there's more he gets some wood like nothing happened and also finds a nether fortress that he clearly wouldn't be able to take down because firstly he has no tools he has no armor and finally he only has five hearts yeah there's no way he will survive this and uh yeah it turns out he basically just kills himself because he takes almost all of his hearts from full damage and then he gets one shot by a skeleton that's already the second time this guy's died. As some of you guys may have guessed, he just now spawns in once again with no respawn screen and is in the end. He also somehow has a stone pickaxe. So he probably just cut the video to make it look consistent with the other cuts in the nether. And now you can probably see what's going to happen next. He has nothing in the end other than a pickaxe and some cobblestone. Yeah, he just ends up dying. I'm not sure if he expected to be accepted, but he definitely got denied. This guy gets some wood and makes some wooden tools. But what even is that skin? He then runs in the straight direction of a village. But if you go back, you can clearly see that he couldn't have known where it was making me believe that he didn't make this run on a random seed. He then goes to get some hay bales, but finds a ruined portal that has some all right things. This chest was definitely legit. He then begins to dig straight down and manages to fall straight into a mine shaft and then find some iron to mine. While he was down there, he also found some diamonds that usually would be a weird thing because if you want to be fast, you don't typically need any diamonds. He makes a pickaxe with these and it goes back up to the surface where it's almost turning nighttime. However, this run so far has only been six minutes long and for it to turn nighttime in Minecraft, it must be a lot closer to 10 minutes, showing that he clearly clearly looked around the world before starting the recording. At this point, it's very subtly faked compared to the normal fake speedruns, but it gets much worse, trust me. He mines some of the obsidian that was around the ruined portal from earlier, and also gets a few gold blocks for trading. He makes the nether portal and gets into the nether. Usually, runners do some calculations to try and figure out the direction of either the fortress or bastion, but this guy just makes his way straight there, which is obviously a bit fishy. But he also manages to get a looting two gold sword from one of the fortress chests, which I'm pretty sure isn't even possible in any fortress. So he clearly made it so he could get a looting sword, they could get some blaze rods faster, making him have a much faster time. The runner then kills some of the blazes and gets a decent amount of blaze rods, but this was mostly due to the looting two sword he found a minute ago. He also gets into a bastion to find some trades for enderpearls, but for some weird reason, he isn't even playing on 1.16.1, the best version as there's no piglin brutes at all, therefore making it a lot easier to do bastions. He also manages to find a chest with some insane loot that must be fake, because there's no way they could even find that many gold blocks in one chest and it all be legit. He then trades in the most scuffed way possible, showing that he cannot be too experienced in Minecraft, but at least he got all of the enderpearls he needed. Eventually, he makes his way back to the overworld, where he can begin to look for the stronghold, but he was really lucky because it was in the ocean, meaning that he could access it really easily. He manages to get down to the portal room, but ended up having not enough eyes for the portal, so he just cuts the video. I'm not sure if he thought the moderators would just accept the run halfway through, but he was obviously wrong. This guy spawns into a village, and he's already going to loot a chest that is obviously fake, because there's no way that anything like this could be in any one of these houses. You can also see that it's speedrunning on Lunar Client, another indication of it being faked, because you must be speedrunning on the vanilla game for it to be accepted. He then goes through the village and loots some of the houses for their beds for the Ender Dragon fight later on. And once he gets out of the village, he runs straight towards a desert temple and a ruined portal, which makes me think this is a set seed, because what are the chances of all three of them being together? And then something happens that is very, very weird. The temple either has the pressure plate broken from the way it spawned, or the runner just did that himself in creative. But once he makes it down there, inside of the chest was some of the most insane loot I've ever seen that actually looks pretty legit. There's a ton of enchanted golden apples, but there's only a chance of one in 100,000 to get this, making this run probably one of the hardest things to happen. After leaving and making some tools like an iron axe and diamond pickaxe, he loots the chest next to the ruined portal and finds enough obsidian to finish the portal. There is, of course, a flint and steel in there as well, just to help him out. He finishes off the portal and instead of going into it, he gets some wood and then finally goes through the portal. And obviously the portal goes straight into a fortress, which <laughs> is just not even legit. And then also when he kills a 
blaze and gets a blaze rod. There's some people in chat saying congrats. I'm actually so confused right now. He goes back to get some more blaze rods and nearly actually dies from this wither skeleton. But of course he has more enchanted golden apples to just use. But even now after using all of the enchanted golden apples, he finally has enough blaze powder to leave the fortress and progress further onto the run. And as he's leaving the nether, there's something that is very suspicious. He now has all of his enchanted golden apples back in his inventory. I'm not even sure how that happened. He then gets into the stronghold and finds an end portal with nearly all of the portals filled. Someone in the comments, please tell me how rare this is because that is insane. This speedrunner spawns into a desert and is in front of a desert temple already so you must get some pretty good loot for things later on in the run and he starts to mine into the floor to get some chests but you may realize what might happen yeah because he digs straight down he managed to fall straight onto the pressure plate that usually would have exploded and killed him in the process but there's literally no sound and it looks like nothing is going to happen to him. Surely he knows that can't be possible. He loots some of the chests and gets some alright things like golden apples and some iron. These will be very useful for him in the rest of the run. But after realising that he doesn't actually have enough blocks to make his way out, he literally just cuts the video. At this point, it is just appalling, but it gets much worse. He goes over to the savannah biome to get some logs from the worst tree in the game. Correct me if you think I'm wrong in the comments. But he makes his logs into some planks and then some sticks to make some usual wooden tools that can help him get some stone. But wait, why is he eating one of the golden apples? It turns out that he just wanted to fill up his hunger so he used a golden apple a very good use of resources he gets some stone and begins to mine straight down how many of these speedrunners don't follow the simple rule book of minecraft after a while he manages to find a ravine that has a lot of things in it but most importantly he finds the stronghold that he obviously should have no idea that was there making me think this is actually a set seed and once he makes it into the portal room he doesn't even get into the portal because he ends up dying to the lava he is terrible this final guy spawns in and gets some wood. But if you actually look at his hunger, you can see that already some of his saturation is gone. Clearly showing that he's been running around on this world already, probably checking out some things that are there. He then finds a ravine and decides to jump. And how is he taking no fall damage at all? That is insane. He finally makes some wooden tools to get some of the cobblestone and then can make a stone pickaxe to mine the iron right next to him. He smells the iron and makes himself an iron pickaxe. But then he runs around and manages to find some diamonds that would actually be impossible because if you go back to where he was, he was clearly only 21 blocks below surface. This is way too obvious. The runner then just gives up because he puts himself into creative and gives himself all of the obsidian needed to make a nether portal and get into the nether. But once he's there, you can see he's just getting chased by some piglins and he gets way too scared because he manages to fall into some lava and probably types the fastest he ever has in his life to just get into creative. He just flies around and manages to find a nether fortress like no one would notice and then somehow just has an enchanted golden apple in his hotbar that he can just eat to fill up his hearts. He also finds a chest that has a sharpness 5 diamond sword inside of it that he can probably use for anything in this whole run. He runs around for ages trying to find a blaze spawner but eventually just cuts the video to where he has a stack of spawn eggs like this really wasn't even close so far after eventually giving himself a stack of blaze rods he just goes into spectator to find a stronghold to then get to the end where he does the very classic end dragon fight by just flying around in creative to kill it he was terrible if you want more videos like this click the one on the screen and also subscribe